Okay, and we're live. What's up, Stu? How you doing, man? Doing okay. How are you doing, Mr. Matt? Pretty good. Uh, you know, I saw Danny R was uh, going to be a part of this, and uh, you know, to pay tribute to him, I, you know, I got my uh, Mets you have? throwback '83 tops traded strawberry jersey. Daryl, yes, nice. And, uh, you know, they were sold out of uh, the Lee Mazzilli jersey, so uh, I went with Daryl. <laughs> nice. Uh, if Mookie was available, I probably would have gone Mookie, but hard to pass up on the Daryl 83 tops. Mookie is in, is in our set tonight, today. Um, I, don't, I don't think Daryl is. Uh, there's a lot of Mets in it, though. So um, uh, Yeah, we'll... I'm not really familiar with this uh, product, so I'm kind of excited to see uh, what, what it is. Yeah, it's um, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter break, but um, and a little bit different because this is a 2004. Um, so we have two sponsors, David J, Danny R. Danny R also sent in a piece of fan mail again. Oh snap! So, so we'll uh, we'll look forward to that at the end, um, just in case we have a really dull break. Um, the fan mail always picks us up at the end. Um, so this is uh, Upper Deck Legends Timeless Teams. So. Everyone in this set, there's 300 cards in this set. Everyone who's in the set actually has an autograph in the set. Now, the guys oh, wow. like Nolan Ryan and, you know, Lou Brock, they have like 25 like autographs in the set. And guys like Carlton Fisk have like 100. So, um, you know, there's, there's, some, there's a spread on the autographs in here. So, um, but there are also, as you can see, dual and triple autograph cards um four per case so wow. um, we're going to see two autos um and here's the other thing we mentioned this in our um preview uh this is our booby prize so we've got an eight pack um fairfield box as our booby prize if if you don't end up with an auto because um that's like the only breaker channel that 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 does this sort of thing folks this guy is in business to lose money <laughs> there are two stacks and two autos if the same if the same two autos are in the same stack then um the uh the other stack gets a gets a booby prize so um let's hope that uh you know it, it's nice and no even. booby prize yeah let's hope for nice and even and we get of course, to the some. last time we opened an upper deck product uh we did hit the griffey jr i think on our last pack so the final pack yes <laughs> we have a uh, a pretty good upper deck track record here this Shout is upper um, deck. that's right this is uh this is our only upper deck we've done um other than maybe like a random pack um and some of the repack boxes so um oh wow it comes with a checklist that's cool so we've got a checklist with um, timeless teams. Yeah. So, so we'll see as we go through. Um, David J. We'll I'm start with you. Corey, I'm assuming Corey Snyder's not on the Indians timeless team. Um, yeah, and it's uh, it's kind of unique. The uh, how, like Bob Feller. Um, I would think so. Um, I think he is actually. Um, uh, yeah, you may have an easier time looking at the checklist when we go through than me, but um, it's it, it is a little a little different. Um, so we'll go ahead and rip right in. In other words, they're not all like World Series champion teams. So the upper right. the guys at Upper Deck were like, I think it might have just been their favorite teams, to be honest with you, because some of them like, I mean, do you know who's in this? There's set? definitely going to be like an Anaheim Angels. Uh... <laughs> A checklist there there are 300 cards in this in this timeless team set and seven of them are 1986 angels yeah um, that makes sense <laughs> those guys are all big angels fans do you know who else is in this set um who our good friend mr bake mcbride um is in what? this set yes um as a what wow was the phillies team 78 phillies i believe um and I may have to cheat on some of these. Uh, this uh, these aren't wax. So you pull the bake bake McBride auto. It's almost like there's one auto per box. Um, there's two autos per box, and we're hoping that it's one per stack. Um, these packs are kind of rough to open. I'm gonna have to make a little slip. The crazy part about this product that seems like very modern to me is that it's 16 years old. <laughs> I know. All right. Oh wow, these are sharp. Nice cards. Eighty-eight so Dodgers. Yeah, in keeping Who's with that? um, 
uh, Jesse Orozco. Jesse Orozco. Yeah, who was who's in the probably in the '86 Mets uh, timeless teams. Uh, but yeah, nice foil, um, nice gloss. That looks a bit like leaf. They are. Uh, they are unfortunately sticking just a little bit, so I have to flex them. Uh oh, brick. Yeah, hopefully that we don't get any paper loss. So Jesse Orozco, so far so good. Merv Rettenmund. Yeah, we're gonna have some guys that are before our time, so we'll we'll kind of have some a little bit of history lessons with some of these guys. I have to separate them one by one. Or is that guy? Oh, that's just one. Okay. <laughs> Bob Gibson. 1967. Hey, Pedro Guerrero. Nice. And you got photos like from 1980. It's a good question. It looks a little sharper than 1980 photography, doesn't it? it looks like they. That's like a 1988, maybe. Um, yeah. And Vita Blue, 1975, open days, and we did get just a little paper loss on the, on the final. Vita, Vita Blue. Um, Who's the best player in that pack? Jesse Orozco? Um, who was the best player in this pack? I would say... Oh, Pedro Bob, Guerrero. Bob Gibson, probably. Um, oh, Bob Gibson, yeah. Of course. That's stupid. Definitely. I, didn't, I forgot we got Bobby. All right. I'm going to have to put a little slit in these. So the 87 Cleveland Indians got uh, snubbed. It's uh, a <laughs> timeless team's... Maybe the 92 or 93 Blue Jays will be on here. So, Dick McAuliffe, 1968 Tigers. Don't know him. A little bit bricked here. Is that just one card? They have a little bit of thickness to them, and somebody inserts, yeah, that's just one, okay. Tommy John, 1980 Yankees. Look at that. 80 and wow. 81. Just hit the lotto, the double Tommy John. Tommy John. There's got to be a player that had a double Tommy John surgery, so you could call that lottery like the double. Jim Northrup. And a memorable moments insert, Joe Morgan. Let's see, what was the moment? Single carries Reds to championship. So he had the game-winning hit of 1975. Mr. Joe Morgan. Are his eyes open in that picture? What's that? Are his eyes open in that picture? <laughs> they, they are. He's he's looking up, and I think it's maybe just a little bit sunny. They probably sunny day, sunny day for Joey Morgan. Yeah, and we do have the uh, the nice upper deck logo. We haven't looked at the back yet. Um, the high quality upper deck cards they do stick just a little bit. That's the only thing. Maybe I'll flex them before I open them. Might be a little bit easier. Just a quick flex. We got in 1988 on the back. So Dusty Baker, 1980s, 1980 Dodgers. Dusty Baker is uh, one of the meanest managers around, but very successful. Alejandro Pena, 1988 Dodgers. All right, so that's this is a real timeless teams of our era that we can remember. Oh, nice. 86. Hey, there it is. Wally Backman. Wally Backman. That's a nice card. And I bet you Dan Yar would like would be willing to swap, uh, make do a trade with uh, with David, yeah. Happen. Merv Rettenmund, I think we just had him, didn't we? Oh, nice. Oh, baby. Just a it touch of karma right there. Yeah, the the um, uh, just a touch of paper loss. I don't know if you can see it. It's not too bad. It's, that's a nice card. It seems Wait, like the eighty-eight Mets were like a memorable team. They were like one out from the the World Series. Um, Mike Sosha crushed their dreams with a, um, like a game six game winning hit and then they won game seven but the Mets wow. literally almost made it in 88 yes um, it was almost the, the Mets I thought about that you think of 88 you think of Kirk Gibson you like kind of forget about like the National League series 
Um, that's one cool thing about this set is they didn't just throw in World Series winners. Um, and we have a numbered card on the back. That's pretty cool. I saw a number flash. I don't know if you saw that. So that's Frank Robinson, 1969. He's one of the Triple Crown winners. One of the four Triple Crown winners since Ted Williams, 1969. Who's it going since? Miguel Cabrera? He's the last one to do it, yes. And um, before, before, before Miggy, it was uh, Yaz in the 60s. That's how long it was, uh, the late 60s. Um, Orlando Cepeda. Dale, oh, I almost said Dale Bear. Phil Garner. <laughs> Will Garner is a, a Dale Barra clone here. Memorable moments, 1975 Carlton Fisk. Oh, yes, this is the Waves to Homer fair. Yes. Um, You'd think they used that picture. I know. Why not that picture? I wonder if it's copyrighted. Remember um, in, in the late 80s when the NBC Game of the Week, it was like the intro yeah. um, where he, he did it at the very end. And here's our number card. Oh wow! Sign. Whoa! We've got one of the duels. Oh wow! Oh, and it's Lou Brock. Lou Brock, who, rest in peace, has just recently left us, and then Orlando Cepeda. That's amazing! Wow! No wonder this was a numbered card. Let's see what it's numbered to. That's got to be, yeah, seventy-one out of seventy-five. Wow! All right, that's um. I think that might that's... be the best. That might be the best hit we've ever had together. Um, I think it might be, and I was, I don't know if I, you know what, I'm going to put it in a, um, in a sleeve. I was going to say one touch, but I think it might be too thick for the 35.1 touch, and I don't want it rattling around, so I'm going to be really safe and just, uh, sleeve, and I think I should be able to top load it, um, even with a touch of thickness. Let's see if it's too thick for the top loader. That's a really good pull. I mean... Considering the, um, yeah, it hasn't just sorry. happened. Considering the checklist of uh, guys, like everyone that we see that we're pulling, that's whose auto we could have pulled, right? And there's some, <laughs> there's some duds. So wow, that is, um, that's pretty epic, actually. Um, David J, that is a heck of a card, buddy. Dual auto, legendary signatures, number to seventy-five. Lou Brock. And Orlando Cepeda is, is uh, 83 years old himself. Wow. What a hit. That is huge. All right. So a little bit of paper loss on the Sal Bando. Jim Rice. Hold on. I just have to. I'm going to call you back, okay? Okay. Bye. Okay, I'll call you back. My Aunt Sandy, she says hello, and Happy New Year to you. Hello, Aunt Sandy. Ray Washburn, 70, 67, Cardinals. Jim Perry, from the Twins. And Bucky Dent, crushing the dreams of the oh, Red Bucky. Sox in 1981. tell you what these cards um like even like this daryl strawberry would be a great um through the mail card um all right don sutton 1980 1980 dodgers and lenny dykstra 88 dykstra nails 88 mets hopefully we're not using up oh Oh, uh, I don't know. I think that might mean Danny R is uh, Steve Yeager. 1983. Oh, no, that's uh, Cal Ripken. 1981. Yeah, world champs. 
81 Dodgers, Steve Yeager. All right, that's definitely, um, I think I'm still going to have to sleeve and, and top load it. And um, Danny R may be getting a booby prize. Um, <laughs> but um, maybe that legendary one, maybe that's just an, a bonus per box or something. Um, we'll kind of hold out hope, Danny R. So Steve Yeager, we'll see if. Uh, <laughs> so far, your jersey has uh, has brought us a Daryl. Oh, memorable moments, 1983, wins the World Series I mean, it title. Brought with... luck to Danny R's competition. It's kind of like uh, this might not be the '86 Mets jersey. This might be an '88 Mets jersey. <laughs> it might be the '88. So she might have just, uh, um, yeah, because uh, the Dodgers just crushed his dreams, Mr. Steve Yeager. Yeah, literally. <laughs> All right, 76, Tony Perez. So these are stuck, but we oh, haven't stack here. We haven't really had um, we haven't really had much uh, paper loss except for just a couple. Been pretty lucky with it, but buyer beware with um, Lou Pinella, 1980. Sparky Anderson, 1984. And that was a. That was a world champion for them. And again, Jack Morris, 91 Twins. I forgot he was with them. That's right. We're from the Tigers. Yeah, he like, he How many... threw like a 10-inning complete game shutout or something. Yes, and now that I'm thinking about it, didn't he win with the Blue Jays a couple yeah, years? The so, next year, 92. So he won, and I know he was part of the 84 Tigers. So he won he at may least... Have actually... I don't know if he was on the Blue Jays for both teams, but if that's possible, then he probably won the World Series three years in a row. With different teams, that's interesting. Um, we have to look that up. I know he's a, he's, you know, he's obviously, you know, accomplished. He's Hall of Famer, et cetera. But I didn't realize. Um, I, I totally forgot he was on the '91 Twins, and then Ray Knight uh, on the '79 Reds. Uh, uh, did you remember he threw like a ten inning complete game in the I, World Series? I know he did well. Like he in that, pitched but, ten innings. Yeah, I don't. I, did, I just don't remember that for whatever reason. Um, Let me. See. I, I'll look it up. I'll make sure that I'm not just spewing garbage. All right, two packs to go, David J. <laughs> David J. Is I'm. I'm almost. I hate to say it, David, but I hope we don't hit anything big <laughs> because it's just. Okay, in 1991, Jack Morse was named the MVP of the World Series with 69 innings in total. Wow. Wow. That. <laughs> wow. That's insane. I guess. Let me. Is that a record? Nine innings in the World Series. Is that a record? That's insane. Bob Boone, eighty-six Angels. There's one of our eighty-six Angels, by the way. I, think I haven't one. seen a Blue Jay yet, so you'll have to check that checklist in between. There, there are, but there's only a couple. Um, sixty-nine Met, Cranapool, Fergie Jenkins, sixty-nine. Cubs. Oh wow! Game seven. Listen to this. I knew I wasn't imagining it. Game seven of the World Series, one nothing victory for the Minnesota Twins. Jack Morris went the distance. Was Ten he... inning shutout in Game seven of the World Series, and people question why that guy's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, exactly. That's incredible. That's pretty. That's I've never heard of a somebody doing that, and you'll never see it again. You will never see somebody do that again. No, no. There's no way. Um, not ten. I mean, yeah. They might pitch 10 innings in the entire World Series now, um, the average starter. So there's the final out of uh, the 1986 World Series. All right, last pack, David J. Let's hope we haven't used up all the, all the good stuff. We might have, though. All right, 1969, Mike Kuehler. Wow, listen to this. Jack Morris was on the Blue Jays in 93 as well. So he won nice. three rings in a row. Yes, with two four different teams. Rings in the span, four rings in a span of nine years. With three different teams. With three different teams. How is that not a Hall of Famer? Uh, yeah, that's why, that's why he is. Wow, is that Keith Hernandez? Keith yeah. Hernandez. By the way, did you see me message you? This week, which, which about Keith? Yes. Oh, you must have. You haven't been checking your messages. I um, 
I sent you, uh, oh, you know what? It was on, um, uh, I usually message you on Instagram. It wasn't there. Um, but, um, uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, I think it might've been Facebook. Um, there's a hilarious, it was, go, it was making the rounds this week. There's a great photo of, uh, Keith Hernandez who, after, Smoking a cig? yes, after his 2000 yeah, yeah, hit, see that. <laughs> he's just like smoking a cig in the dugout, like, in the dugout the after to celebrate his 2000s hit, uh, just something you're not going to see anymore. Uh, Here's something kind of interesting about this jersey that I'm wearing right now. This Daryl Strawberry. Nice. You know, it's got his name and everything. I got this jersey for $20 because it was an error jersey. Do you want to know what the error is? What is it? It actually was printed on a Keith Hernandez jersey. <laughs> you're kidding. So it's like a dual Mets jersey. Ah, that's hilarious. That's Yeah, there's maybe some value to that. Um yeah, well, well graded as an error. Probably so, went down now that I'm wearing it. Donny baseball. So 1985. Um, I couldn't actually have noticed. A better year, couldn't yes. have a better year than Donny had in '85. Um, his uh, he, uh, was he was he MVP? He was close. I think if he so. wasn't, he had um, uh, incredible numbers in '85. Um, but uh, I think he has two cards in the set. Um, uh, um, I think he has a. I think he's one like one of the final cards, like the '95. So, um, so David J um, really cleaned up and uh, um, had some great. Yeah, he was the MVP, by the way. Yeah, I thought so. So he has the Steve Yeager, but um, most importantly, he's got uh, two Hall of Famers: um, Lou Brock, oh, Orlando yeah. Cepeda, um, the dual legendaries um, that we were kind of hoping to hit. Um, let's hope we didn't hit both all of our autographs in the same stack. We might have Danny R. If so you got a booby prize coming, but. Wait, let's just talk about Mattingly for one second here before you get to that stack. In, in 84, he had 207 hits, led the league in a 343 batting average. Didn't win the MVP, but in 85, 211 hits again, 145 RBIs with a 324 batting average, 35 home runs, which in 85 was a lot of home runs. Yes. And uh, he won the MVP. Yes. Um, those those offensive numbers were crazy, um, uh, and I have a um, uh, one of my one of my uh, best friends when I was uh, playing baseball in the late eighties. Danny R, good luck. We'll rip right in. Um, his dad, um, what was his name? I forget. He ran a grocery store in town. Anyway, um, he, t he he's like, do you guys know who Don Mattingly is? And we're like, of course. This is like probably like eighty eight or eighty nine. And he's like, well, let me tell you, he owes me a, 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 a you know. He owes me a big favor because he would have never won the batting title without me. Apparently, in you know, and I'm sure every fan has a story like this, but in 85 when he was in, like he beat Dave Winfield by one hit or something, like a couple yeah, of yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember right. that. So uh, apparently um, he hit a foul ball um, and uh, it was, you know, down the right field line and uh, it hit. Uh, I, I think his name, ironically, was Dave, um, my, my friend's dad. Hit him in the hands, and the outfielder was standing underneath him, and would have would have made the out. And he was like, "I caught the ball," and the outfielder was like cursing me right underneath me. And then the next pitch, Don Manley got a hit. So he was like, he would have never won the batting title without me. You know, everyone has a story <laughs> like that. I love that. Cecil Cooper, 1975. But what was funny? I didn't is that, realize he. I didn't realize Cecil Cooper played that long. <laughs> Cecil, like I remember I, him as an 87 Topps card. And, um, yeah, and the same thing with, like, Ray Knight. Like, we we got a 70s red machine Ray Knight, and I totally don't remember him. I remember him as uh, uh, Brooks Robinson, 1969, as, you know, 86 Mets. Um, Davey Lopes, 77 Dodgers. Jim Palmer, 69. Big year for him. Almost did it. It's a nice card. Yes, that was, if, that was a Mets World Series. If not for the Mets, I was just gonna say Danny R is knowing that, and then uh, no paper loss. All right, we're good. So Blue Moon Odom, great name, pitches A's to first series title in 41 years. And if I remember right, didn't they win like two or three, like right next, like 72, like 73, 75, something Reg like that. Reg Reggie was on those teams. Yes, um, Reggie, Vita Blue, those guys.
And there's Mike Sosha, 81. He was here in 88, uh, but uh, there's 81 card. Don Gullet, 1976 Reds. There's Yaz, 75 Red Sox. Nice pick. Photos are really nice in this. And Harmon Killebrew, in color, 1965. And Lou Whitaker, 87 Sweet Tigers. Blue. Broke the Blue Jays' hearts in a play-in game in the last game of the season. His second postseason in four years when the Tigers captured the American League East in 1987. Yeah. And then lost to the Twins. And by the way, everyone check out um, – well, we'll I'll, I'll give Danny our plug again when we, we get to his fan mail. But make sure and check out Danny R's channel. Um, he uploads uh, – he's uploaded quite a few um, of his – and some of them are just a couple minutes long. But um, I, I, I really like his reveals. Um, What's he doing on his channel? Through the mail. So he does a through the mail campaign. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, you told me. And he, he opens up his uh, packages and you get to see who signed and who didn't sign. Who signs, sign who doesn't, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, he had one I just watched the other day, and I apologize, I forget who it is. And the guy, he sent the guy two baseball cards, and the guy actually, <laughs> this is so insane, takes a little note, writes on the note, I'm sorry, I don't sign anymore, and then signs his name. Yeah. <laughs> And, or just his first name, but like I, I can't remember his name is Andy or something like Andy, and put and I'm back with the two cards unsigned, and I'm thinking it was so much more effort for you to do that than just sign those two darn cards for him. Ray Washburn, hey George Foster, part of the Big Red Machine. Gorman Thomas, it's a great picture. Uh, major League. Yeah, it's very Major League esque. And here's another '86 Angel, Rick Burleson. Seven eighty-six angels, but we haven't seen a, a blue jay yet. We haven't seen it. Uh, there's only there are like there's only like two or three, but there are blue jays. Um, Ninety-two blue jays are in here, and Mickey Stanley, nineteen sixty-eight Tigers. So what's going on with you, Stu? Um, I saw that you guys uh, are teasing, putting these little teasers up for your new. Um, yeah documentary yeah. um which is yep. it's kind of cool new movie coming it's uh not quite what you think it is but uh it's definitely entertaining i uh, have no comments, idea what to think of it should be you guys are very nondescript i have no idea what to think of it you guys are very nondescript in your vlogs um it's yeah it's gonna be uh it's it's, it's a wild one it could literally uh, be anything more... at this point ken yeah. griffey senior uh, by next week there should be a trailer up so oh so That'll we'll know cool. a little bit more okay yeah. Johnny Bench. Bob Gibson. Memorable moments. And Billy North. 1974 A's. On base percentage, 347 and 74. Captured their third consecutive World Series by beating the Dodgers. Oh, wow. So they won in 72, 73, and 74. Wow. Wow. It's a 300 card set, so you could probably, you know, buy a couple boxes and put this thing together. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we're well on our way. Although there's, you know, there's parallels and you know inserts and things like that, but yeah. And uh, there's Mr. Cepeda. He pulled his auto. Not for you, Danny, unfortunately, buddy. But there's Goose Gossage, 81 Yankees. Let's hope we get some nice. Oh, it's just going to say some 86 Mets, but we got an 88 Met. He was also an 86. Wally? Danny, uh, Danny knows the story. Uh, we adopted two cats in the 86 season, and we named one Mookie and one Wally um, uh, uh, after Mookie. And uh, they, they, you know, platooned and uh, were just, you know, great players, uh, just high action players. Ron Say. And just seems like there was always a highlight, like, you know, if you look at the back of their baseball cards, they, don't, they you know, it's not that in, impressive. Uh, and there's, uh, is that Bog? Boog? Boog, Boog Powell. Boog Powell. Um, famous uh, famous uh, beer commercial star. 
But guys like Wally Backman, you look at the back of their cards, and guys that didn't watch baseball during the time are just like, ah, blah, blah, blah. These guys, you know, what's so special? But I swear, if you watched the highlights week in, week out, and followed these games, they were just high-action, fun players that were just great. Um, great, great highlights. Yeah, there's definitely guys like that do a lot of stuff that doesn't show up on the stat sheet necessarily. But, uh, you know, those guys are definitely... Uh, those types of players, you need you need a little bit of everything to to put together a, a championship team, including a guys like that. Absolutely. Eighty six Mets do not win without Mookie and Wally. No way. Mudcat Grant. Hey, Davy Johnson. There's one for you, Danny. You remember him as a manager, but um, Orioles nineteen seven. Oh! Oh my Whoa, gosh! Oh, even better! Oh my goodness! This is a yeah. hot box! Wow! This is a hot box! Oh my gosh! Lou box. Brock on card auto. Wow! That is amazing! I was so I was I was almost resigned. Dickie Knowles memorable moments and Dwight Evans. I was almost resigned to. A booby prize. I was just kind of saying that, trying to be hopeful. That's incredible. Lou Brock, who just passed, like right before our last break, about three weeks ago, and we have pulled two of his on-card autos in this same box. That is amazing. That's amazing. Do we still get to open up the booby prize just for fun? <laughs> I think we'll, <laughs> I think we'll probably save it because um, we're probably going to need some booby prizes for our next. Uh, yeah. Our next break, um, which which I'll tease, by the way. That, man, that is awesome. That is incredible. Um, that is awesome, Danny R. I am so happy for you, buddy. That's awesome. Because Danny R. actually sent me a message. He's like, you know, I really just like the classic breaks, but I'm going to take a chance. And... Yeah, it paid off. It paid off. That's awesome. Can't hey, get one of those through the mail. You can't, you can't get one of these through the mail. like you mailed from you to Danny R. 86 Red Sox. All right, you're free rolling now, Danny R, but um, I still want to get you some 86 Mets. He's playing with house money. Jim Perry, 75 A's. Louis Tiant, 80 Yankees. Pedro Bourbon, 75 Reds. And memorable moments, Dave Parker helps Pirates to the 1979 championship. All right, two packs to go. Danny Arsh free rolling. That Lou Brock stick is pretty sick. I mean, that's incredible. Um, I mean, I, I I almost like it more than the other one. I hate to say, but um, uh, well, the duel is cool. But you know, that if you're is... a Lou Brock fan. This is the one you want. And by the way, what is the memorable moment here that we're looking at? His Homer helps. Okay, so that's not the act, the actual picture. Um, Homer helps Cardinals to the to clinch the series, but he's he's caught in a pickle there. I wonder if he scored. He must have if that's like a memorable, uh, you know, picture. It looks like he's breaking on it. Um, I like that you said that he's in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> right. And there's a well, there's an '86 Met for you, uh, Danny R. But um, the manager, Raleigh Eastwick, '76 Reds. Joe Carter. There hey. we go. They remembered the Blue Jays after all. That's a nice card, actually. 92 Blue Jays. From like, that picture's certainly not from 92, but that's a great, great player. You know what he did in 93. And there's Steve Yeager. We hit his auto in the first stack. And Hojo. 1984 um, Tigers. Did he did he win a ring with them? I, I, I think of him as like a rookie with the Mets. He must have been yeah, a rookie. Me too. Yeah, first of his two because he won uh, with the with the Mets. But yeah, he won in '84. Hojo. All right, so we're getting some '86 Mets for you. Uh, just not in their '86 uh, cards. All right, last pack, Danny R. So we're just pulling multiple Hall of Fame autos in this break, no problem. Paul Molitor, 1981. 
Rico Petroselli, 75 Red Sox. Jim Northrup, 68 Tigers. George Scott, 67 Red Sox. And final card, memorable moments, Bucky Dent. And we talked about his crushing the Red Sox uh, dreams. Well, at least Danny R can get on with that, crushing the Red Sox. Um, um, well, we are batting a 1,000 with upper deck breaks. Look at this. We got we to gotta look at these real, real quick. I mean, I mean, yes. Thanks a lot, Steve Yeager. N not trying to overlook you or anything, but um, incredible. Look at that. Both guys got really cool stuff. Absolutely. I was so worried, um, especially when we pulled, you know, both of them. I was happy for David J. But um, look at that. That is incredible. And miss, and you know, he's just passed away. Um, what an awesome break. So um, so that's awesome. Danny R. Uh, David J. Congrats. We're gonna do a. Um, our fan mail, um, but yeah, we'll have Who's to. Who's the fan um, mail from? Uh, from Danny R. Um, oh, perfect. So Mets rule is um, everyone. If you are, you know, on my channel page on YouTube, I have a little button over to the right. Suggest, you know, I can't remember what it is. Suggested channels or favorite channels, and Mets rule is there. I've got three or four channels over there. Um, anyone who's interested in this kind of stuff through the mail. Um, Danny R, like he'll give you the lowdown on who signs. Don't waste your time. Who who signs everything? Who makes you pay, um, etc. So and ironically, uh, he has sent us this through the mail. Through the mail. And you got you posting an address if anyone else wants to send in, uh, you know, fan mail. I haven't um, only because I don't have a PO box. Um, I probably should. Um, I probably should get a PO box and then just do the fan mail, but. Um, let me um, let me leave that in there and see if he has a note because we um, yes let's let's read our notes um, Jason uh, sorry this took so long he finally wrote back here you go bud display it proudly I also threw in the classic <laughs> 81 tops card ha ha hope all is well with you the fam and the newest edition uh, be safe God bless your pal Danny R Mets rule. So I think I know who we got here. We've got one for the backdrop, I believe. Um, Perfect. Oh, baby! And we do. And there's the 81 card he said he threw in. And and there he Incredible. is. Incredible. Steve Trout, 1987 that's, tops. That's so awesome. It's a great card, too. That's incredible. Me, Danny uh, R, man. Listen. He deserved to hit that Lou Brock. He's a mensch. Danny R's the man. Let's upload this, and this is definitely going to... Well, we can we can replace... Um, we've got a, st a Steve Trout back there. A uh, 79 Steve Trout. Um, right? Oh, you can't see him. He's actually off camera, but we'll definitely replace, um, replace that in the backdrop, and um, thank you so much, Danny R. That is incredible. That's so cool. That is awesome. And for anyone who's wondering why we're getting all excited, Steve Trout is, um, uh, we've had a lot of fun with some of our past breaks pulling Steve Trout cards. Um, well, we just like the colorful characters of the 80s and Trout, you, I mean, look at that card. That's I, why we stop on them. <laughs> uh, there's other guys too that have uh, found uh, sort of uh, cult followings uh, in our breaks, but Trout is uh, the king of them all. That's pretty incredible. And this this card says it all, does it not? I mean, that's that's him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we put together a little uh, trailer video with him. We've got uh, we've got a lot of fun pulls of uh, Steve Trout, but um, but this is the best Steve Trout pull for sure. So we appreciate it, Danny R. Again, check out Danny R's channel, Mets Rule, for all his through the mail um, returns. And my jersey brought him luck this week. So. I mean, D Danny R. There's no way you're pulling a second Lou Brock out of the box without. Uh, Stu's error jersey. So um, I agree, kind of like that, like Mattingly batting title. Yes. So um, so yes, Legends 2004. They stick just a little bit, but um, we're I I you know I don't know how would you grade this? I, I was a lot of fun. I mean, I'm listen, giving I'm giving it like an A minus. Um, uh, I would give it an A. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. You've got two Lou Brock autographs in one box. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so I, I, I liked it, um, and we're gonna. Oh, and just a teaser, I haven't figured out how to do it, um, Stu. But um, 
we're going to do 90 tops, um, which is obviously not an expensive break. Um, but we do have something to open at some point. I have to figure out how to do it. I actually was going to do like, you know, maybe like a fa a, a, my like give it away to like the thousand subscriber contest or something, um, something like that. We got to figure out how to do it. So we'll, we'll put our heads together for the next week or two and we'll figure it out. We're going to come back with a 90 tops break, which will be a cheap break. Um, but we're thinking about breaking this at the same time. Wow. And if you guys You're don't, crazy. don't know what this is, this is, um, uh, a partial blacklist confirmed pack out of a partial black back blacklist box. And uh, someone opened eight packs from the same run. PSA has certified this, this entire run. Um, and so they've all been um, graded together. Um, and he hit, I believe, five blacklist cards. And he did not hit the Frank Thomas. So um, I'll do a preview video and we'll tell the whole story. But um, basically, you're not going to get many opportunities to ever open a pack that could pull out a no-name Frank Thomas. But this is one of them. And I actually have two. One will go into my perma permanent collection, and then one one we're going to break at some point. Um, and I've never cracked one of these cases, so I know they're kind of a headache to, to crack open, but um, but we're going to do it at some point in the future. So that's just a teaser for a future break, but a partial black blacklist break is coming um, to the channel. Sometimes that's really incredible, break. man. I, you're crazy. That is, that is a little bit crazy, honestly. Um, uh, so and thank you. Um, oh, I forgot his name. Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. BB something on eBay. I, I went back and forth with him because he gave me a, a, a you know cheaper by the dozen price, and I told him I was going to break him on a channel, etc. I tried to kind of you know get, and he did give me a, a much better price than what he's selling them to for. But um, uh, but um, there's you're right. I don't even see I, like you can't even buy these packs on eBay. Like they must be all gone. Um, did he take them down? He may have. I know that. I woke up the thread on Collector's Universe a little bit, and and also there's a thread on Blowout, that, and they both kind of got raised from the dead, and there was some ac recent activity when I grabbed these two. I know that there was, I think there were 12 left, so there may only yeah, be not, nine done. or ten left. Oh my gosh, he he, I think he took them off then. He may someone may have bought the rest. I know one guy bought eight of them, um, and he opened them, uh, and he hit. I mean, he hit a few of the blacklist cards, and the blacklist cards. By the way, it doesn't have to be Frank Thomas. It, I mean, any of those blacklist cards are unobtainium. They are impossible to get, and they are valuable. They are ridiculously valuable. So, uh, obviously, the Frank Thomas is, you know, the king of the heat. But, um, but we'll tackle all that in a future break. Um, this was 2004 Legends Upper Deck Timeless Teams. And um, just once again, for the road, because we are so – we are, I mean – this is definitely our our best break is in terms of I mean, we don't break too many mo modern breaks but um, we've had some great ones the the five Frank Thomas etc but um, I, I I just did not expect to see the second Lou Brock in the box so that's just like a blessing that's incredible I I loved it so Danny so R gets stuff, Danny R gets a Lou Brock David J gets a Lou Brock um, Wave of Cards channel gets a Steve Trout. And, um, and that Frank Thomas, by the way, with no name is, I don't know if it's being bought for this, but it's being sold for almost $7,000. Right. That's what, that's what they go for. They're impossible to get. Um, that's absolutely impossible. And, and by the way, the other cards are like, you know, maybe only like, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. They're th thousand. It's not that much. It's not anywhere near the Frank Thomas, but it's not like a hundred dollars either. They're like thousands for the, you know, for the other guys. So, so that'll like, be an exciting you know, break. At some you could point. put a down payment on a new Toyota Tricel with one of these cards. You're saying yes. Um, yes, uh, uh, you could. Um, so, um, so we'll, we'll tackle that in a future break, but, um, that's coming. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, um, we'll have to, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll do like a, um, okay. we'll, we'll do an, ex you know, some type of exceptional lotto, um, either that, or maybe wait till I get to a thousand subscribers and, you know, run like a contest or something like that. But sounds good. I'm whatever. Whatever's good. We'll, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll we'll work out something good. We'll do it. But uh, in the meantime, I'll uh, looking forward to the next break and uh, to the people who are watching. Uh, thanks for supporting uh, this channel, and we'll be back soon. Thanks for supporting us, Mets Rule, and then Stu, 
with five foot seven films is coming out with a uh, look for a um your trailers w- dropping when this week it's uh yeah it'll be out uh it'll be out like this coming week so it's a different film than uh anything i've made before but uh it's definitely wilder than anything i've done before so that's all that's my tease for here yeah the, the vlogs are very much a tease but but very interesting so Again, thanks for joining us, Stu. Thanks, David J. and Danny R. for buying in. And um, we'll see everyone for another break soon. See you, Stu. Thanks, man. Take care, buddy. That was awesome. Later. <laughs> see you.